I'm Fred Hershey. Uh, was born and raised here. We call this place Jack Hershey Livestock. It was, that was my dad. My uh, great-granddad homesteaded here in 1894. My granddad left the, left that and uh, when he was 14, started his own and it's been, we still have the homestead, but it's been growing. He's added to it, my dad added to it, my fa I've added to it, my wife and I anyway, and uh, now the girls, they'll probably add to it and Tyler. My name's Danielle Peterson. I'm the local outside sales representative for Purina and the Axman Feed Warehouse here in Southwest Montana. I think Jack Hershey Livestock is probably one of the most unique cattle ranches here in Southwest Montana. Uh, one of the things that I think is so unique about them is that they have a very diverse operation. So they run a cow-calf operation. They also run stalkers. They run cattle in the feedlot. On top of all of this, they also have a very impressive horse breeding program. So it's been really fun just coming and learning from them and watching how they manage um, all these different uh, pieces of their operation. And they do a really good job of trying to make things better year over year over year. So they're out there educating themselves or just learning through experience and trying to make things better. Uh, my name's Ty Hedrick. Been here about 22 years. Um, my role here, pretty broad as far as overseeing cattle, horses, um, employees, hay, um, kind of whatever needs done. A lot of what we do is trial and error. I mean, as any rancher is, you kind of learn by doing and there's a lot more people that have a lot more information than we do. And if Danielle doesn't have that information, someone above her does. And I think it's really important for ranchers and agriculture workers to have a good feed rep or a good veterinarian, someone like that who can expand their learning, um, provide them with information that we don't know or are unsure of. And sometimes it's as simple as changing your feed program or changing your vaccine program. And like I said, we're not as educated as other people and people need to keep an open mind in our industry. I try to reach out to them before each season and say, hey, you know, high mag mineral season is coming up. Um, protein tub season is coming up. Mineral season's coming up. Should we get some stuff scheduled and just try to make sure we get them everything that, that they need? And I think that's really helped uh, with our partnership. You know, we started on mineral and moved to a higher level of mineral and lick tubs. And in using those other products helps us utilize our products. I mean, our products are grass and water. That's about what we have. And being able to have other products that make the, our products go farther sure helps out. I, I think the quality of the animal has substantially got better and definitely in the last 15 years. Um, even in the last five years, it's substantially got better. And I think a lot of that has to do with not only the feed that we are giving them, but the way we feed them and the mineral and the salt and the other products we give them as well and the vaccine programs. Um, our industry has substantially moved forward. I mean, since I've been involved in it, I can only imagine what it's looked like over a hundred year span. Well, I think uh, the quality of the cows has improved and I think it's one of the reasons is uh, when you look at the heifers we got and, uh, you know, the mineral program I think has helped. Uh, years ago when I was a kid, nobody fed mineral. It's unheard of. So fed them salt, and that was it. I think the minerals helped the breed back. I think it's held, it really helped the health, I've noticed. I think those guys, I mean, they take care of the calves. They're in them every day. I, I think those lick tubs probably has, has, has helped. Weaning, we used to struggle at that, especially if you had bad weather and stuff, but I think that's helped. So we've been using the Purina stress tubs for three years now. Um, I have them in the calf pens before we wean. So the second calves are weaned off the cow and put into the pen, first thing they hit is a stress tub. It almost becomes like an emotional support thing for the calf. I mean, you watch them, they'll walk by, you know, and they're all bawling and running around for a few days. They don't go by those tubs without stopping and licking on it. Um, I really like the texture of them. They're hard, make those calves salivate. Um, they don't fill them up like a liquid feed would. It almost boosts their appetite. Um, it's funny you watch those calves, they'll go lick on a stress tub, then they'll go get a drink of water and go to the feed bunk and then go lay down. 
And before we were using those, that wasn't necessarily the case. They'd fill up on liquid feed or, and then they'd go lay down and they wouldn't get a belly full of hay or water. And I, I really liked the results of them um, as far as keeping them hydrated and going to water and keeping them moving. And they camp on them and they, those calves really like stress tubs. A lot of the customers that I have in this area, uh, including Jack Hershey Livestock, um, you know, they've become good friends of mine. If they weren't already good friends, they've become good friends of mine. So as a, a sales representative, um, I'm really concerned about their best interest in trying to make product rec recommendations based on what's really going to improve their bottom line. So I'm very passionate about helping my customers and and uh, hoping to help them build a better future for their ranches. Passion, I guess. Passion, because that's it's what you gotta feel for. I mean, if you're gonna do it, you know, if you don't wanna be here, there's no sense being here. You, you know, I could live anywhere I wanted in the world. I could sell out and I'll guarantee you move any place I wanted, but I don't wanna, this is, this is where I wanna be.